Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you all the different ways you can connect your PlayStation 4 controller to your PC. This is going to be a nice quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So in today's video, we're going to be showing you two different methods on how to connect your PS4 controller to your PC. We're going to be doing this via cable and we're going to be doing this via Bluetooth. So the first thing we're going to be doing is connecting our PS4 controller to our PC via cable. So what we're going to be doing is getting any official PS4 controller and we're going to be looking for the micro USB port on top. This is going to be standard for all PS4 controllers. From this point, we're also going to need a micro USB cable. So to start things off, we're going to be grabbing our PS4 controller and we're going to be grabbing our micro USB cable and simply plugging it into the back. And we're going to be plugging the other side of this USB port into our computer, of course. Once your PS4 controller is fully connected, the light on top of your controller will be full. From this point, what I've done is I've loaded up a software on my computer that simply reads the input from a PS4 controller, just so you can see this visualized on screen right now. So you can see as I move around and press my buttons, everything is picked up in here and there's zero latency. It works 100% fine. And this is exactly how you would do it. From this point, you can go into any game, any software, any device on your computer, and you can map these controls to control your game, control your device, software, etc. It works really, really well. And now on Steam, we support a PS4 controller by default. Everything works by default. You simply plug it in and all the controls will pick up and it works really well. Our second method for connecting our PS4 controller to our PC is via Bluetooth. So to connect our controller via Bluetooth, the first thing we're going to do is turn on Bluetooth on our computer. To do this, simply click the Windows key and we're going to be searching for Bluetooth on our device. And here we're going to be looking for the Bluetooth and other device settings. What we're going to be doing is opening this up and we're going to be making sure our Bluetooth is turned on on our computer. From this point, we're going to be clicking the add Bluetooth or other devices. And we're going to be leaving this open for the moment as we're going to be searching here for our controller in a couple of minutes. What we're going to be doing from this point is simply grabbing our PS4 controller and we're going to be putting it in pairing mode. To do this, we're going to make sure our controller is off. And at this point, I will also mention if your controller is currently being used on a PS4, I'd recommend plugging your PS4 out completely. And we can turn this off by simply holding the power and share button for a couple of seconds until the light in the back of your controller goes off. Once your controller is completely off, we're then going to be putting our controller in Bluetooth pairing slash sharing mode. To do this, what we need to do is press the power and share button on our controller at the exact same time. So you need to press these in once your controller is off. It'll take a couple seconds and you'll see this double flash slash blink on your controller. And that means your controller is currently in pairing mode. From this point, we're going to be going back to our PC and we're going to be searching for a Bluetooth device at the very top with mice, keyboard, pens, etc. Simply click this open, keep your PS4 controller close to your computer and wireless controller will show up here. From this point, we simply need to click on this. Give it a couple of seconds and then your PS4 controller will connect. Once your PS4 controller is fully connected, the light on top of your controller will be full. It will no longer blink or flash and that's how you'll know it will be fully connected. Now from my experience, Bluetooth with my computer has been hit and miss. Sometimes there's a little bit of delay and latency and sometimes I have to reconnect my controller. I think this is an issue with the inbuilt Bluetooth on my computer rather than the controller itself. So as long as you have pretty decent Bluetooth built into your computer and you're not too far away from your computer with your controller, you should have no issues here. However, I would still recommend cable for most cases. It's much more consistent and you'll have no latency issues or anything else. Anyway guys, there are the two different ways you can connect your PS4 controller to your computer. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.